of course, hard to really see that far five years out. But I, I do think that uh, something is for sure. That is uh, uh, a major IT sort of generation tends to last more like 30 years. And the last generation of a, sort of the Wintel, you know, Windows and uh, Intel, uh, pretty much uh, dictated, dominated how we do our work for now 30 years. There's a new paradigm that's coming along based on something that I call VMS, uh, where V stands for virtualization, which is mainly around cloud computing. Mobilization, of course, is uh, everywhere and uh, uh, every time kind of access. And then finally, to socialization, which is really about as many-to-many -many collaboration as opposed to the one-to-many one -to type, type that we're very used to in the past. These, the convergence of these three megatrends, I think will pretty much define this next generation uh, for the coming years. I don't know how long it will be, but there's no question in my mind, I think most people would agree that they would fundamentally just change how things used to be done before. I think the biggest challenge in all this, uh, on the positive side, is we tend to now learn, have learned, to make things a lot more palatable to the user, meaning more consumerized. Because in the past, we always had this so-called Sunday night uh, blue, meaning, geez, I have to go back to work again Monday and facing yes. all these terrible tools yes. that we have in the company. Whereas during the weekend, I can be on Facebook, we can do a lot of other consumer things. That's a lot more mm -hmm. uh, pleasant experience. So I think that's changing, of course. I mean, we certainly are endeavoring to make all our things a lot more uh, consumer, uh, sort of best of both worlds. Mm -hmm. In terms of experience, a lot more uh, like the consumer services, you know, the kind of usability and familiarity you know, that, that uh, people are demanding. But also bringing to bear our 20 years of experience in terms of enterprise grade things that around, you know, uh, security, scalability, access control, privacy, things that enterprise really care about. So in doing so, you make, you give people a more open environment for collaboration, but you also allow them to control what's necessary and very much are critical to the enterprise use cases. So essentially how I see that is a flip of the paradigm. As before, everything is top down, is push based, is control, command and control. So the 80 20 rule was leaning toward that side, the closed side, and the open side is you know, few and far between. I think the whole social phenomenon will allow us to flip that coin so that the 80% of the time by default is sharing, but you still need to offer everyone the ability to control that 20%, which has to be a little bit more uh, sort of uh, guarded as opposed to totally random, sort of uh, not properly controlled. So I think a lot of people mistakenly have sort of been trying to bind the governance policy with the underlying mechanism. And yes. in doing so, making it extremely difficult or too rigid for this kind of social phenomenon to take hold. Uh, and our goal here is to decouple the two so that you can still set your policy, your governance, but allowing the mechanism to be totally distributed to the users. We call that DIY, do it yourself. Because if everything has to go back to IT, it would be really, really hard to make it happen. 